after four months of negotiation, it looks like Cadbury is going to finally go to Kraft. So $19.7 billion looks at this moment like it's going to do it. We bring in right now the FT, Lex on Bloomberg. You get a sneak peek at the Financial Times' flagship column a day early. Neil Buckley, good enough to join us now from London. So, Neil, is this the end of the Cadbury saga or could we see, I don't know, Hershey coming in on a dark horse from the left? I think this is almost certainly the end of the saga. As you said, this has dragged on uh, since uh, last summer, right through a rather cold winter, and uh, sometimes the relations between Cadbury and Kraft have been almost as chilly as the weather. But I think probably this is now a done deal. Hershey uh, has been given a slightly extended deadline by UK regulators today until next Monday morning, 7 a.m. UK time, to show their hand. But it would have required them to take on a very large amount of debt, uh, even to match the original craft offer. I think their chances of matching or beating this raised craft offer are uh, extremely low, and I think actually it would be reckless of Hershey's management and the trust that controls Hershey even to try to match it. I think uh, we've seen the end game now. I think this is it. N Neil, Eric just brought us the headline, of course, coming through from Kraft's CEO that she's not concerned that Hershey make a bid, but as Eric pointed out, she has to say that she is the CEO of Kraft's so let's talk about Kraft raising its offer by almost 15 percent, seemed to have gotten Cadbury's board's attention. But is Kraft overpaying? Well, people might look at it and ask that question uh, after it's raised its offer so much from its starting point. But remember, the starting bid was uh, generally considered to be pretty low. Uh, the other point is that, uh, that Kraft uh, is slightly increasing its estimate of the cost savings it can get from this deal. It's gone up from $625 million annually uh, after three years to $675 million. Uh, so it's getting a bit more cost. Its cost of debt has come down a bit in recent months as the debt markets have opened up. So uh, they're saying they expect to be able to make a, a return on investment that will um, beat the the cost of their capital uh, within what they say is an acceptable time frame. I'm hearing for some people it could be within two or three years. Um, also, if you look at the earnings multiple, uh, they're only paying, even at this level, 13 times uh, a multiple of EBITDA underlying earnings. That is less than most big food industry deals over the last decade. So I think Kraft will feel and Kraft shareholders will feel that they've got themselves a pretty good deal at this price. Uh, and it's not a question of overpaying. All right, Neil, thanks very much. Neil Buckley joining us there from London from the FT.